All right, look, I, I did the gunpla bit last time for Victor, and I've been so busy playing cyberpunk that I, I haven't even picked up the gunpla from last time, so I hadn't even thought of anything funny. So just screw it, man. We're just gonna talk about Blau, okay? I just want to talk about Blau. It's like my favorite thing. Hello, everyone, and. Welcome back to Oh boy, we're talking about robots again. Today we're 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 looking at Nova Grapplers again, my favorite clan, in case you didn't know. And we're looking at now probably my favorite archetype within the clan. Uh, I kind of alluded to it in my Victor video, but today we're talking about Blouse. We've got, of course, a full play set of both of our new Blau boys. Both of these cards, first of all, the art is just oh so good. <laughs> And second, their abilities are also just really good. I'm really happy with what they gave us, and I'm also really glad at how well it meshes with the support that uh, we had before. Both of them have the same continuous ability of as long as you have Blau Kluger in your soul, all of your grade three Blaus get plus 10k. And then Stern's ability is at the end of his battle, you can discard two cards from your hand, choose a galaxy on your rear guard, bind it, ride it as Stan, and it gets drive minus one and then galaxy's skill is that when he attacks you can counter blast one and call a stern from your soul to rear guard also when he's ridden on by a card with blau and its card name you can call him to rear guard so it's really kind of nice to be able to ride over him and then get a rear guard at the same time i was experimenting running some other grade three blaus in the deck to try and take advantage of that 10k buff that they get um but it just didn't really work. Um, I was running like Mond and New Mond and Volmond. It just didn't quite do what I wanted to. It's just it was just kind of clunky. And then you're just gonna lose the break ride skill once you re-ride again. So it doesn't really quite work out as well as I wanted it to. And it, it was just clunky. Like it, it didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. And I, I found it just kind of hampered me more than it helped me trying to play towards that. So I didn't really end up working with it. You could maybe try something like Merker Blau Kluger, actually, just because we have so many more units with Blau. And back in the day, that card was pretty bad because it was basically Counter Blast 2 to Stand 2. But with as wide as we can get our front row, it can become Counter Blast 2 to Stand 4 or 5. So that might be something you might want to play around with. But for right now, I think this is honestly pretty much all we need. Looking at our grade 2s now, we have a playset of Brutal Jack. This is another reason why I decided to kind of stop trying to worry about running more grade 3 blouse to get that 10k buff because as it is right now we're already kind of running like 12 brutal jack in the deck so i didn't really think that bumping it up to 15 was all that necessary and he's also just really good to help abuse his skill so that we can abuse Bustard's skill because even if he's already standing we can still use his ability to rest himself and something else to restand him and then we get a stand off for Bustard to up our drive checks and that is always nice and then a play set of blau kluger pretty necessary considering we're playing blaus and he's what gives us that 10k buff on our grade threes but he's also just really good besides that on rear guard at the end of his battle he can go into your soul and draw you a card more soul is always welcome in this deck as if that wasn't already good enough on vanguard when you ride him you can counter blast one look at the top seven cards of your deck and grab any blau card you find there and that is just super super good just digging for pieces toolboxing to an extent and then lastly i'm running three copies of regia blaulons i'm really happy with this card i'm actually running it over something like kick kick typhoon or cool hank and i think it's better i've just been happy with it in just about every situation just because while kick kick and cool hank are fantastic cards they require something else on board in order to restand something to get more stands off and this is like a one card combo as long as you have a grade three or greater vanguard with blau in its card name and it will be uh you can counter blast one soul blast one and restand him i've just found this to be way more useful in just about every situation than kick kick or cool hank and it's also not once per turn and considering our whole gimmick is multiple vanguard attacks every time you attack whether it's busted restanding and attacking again or you're rewriting a blau and attacking again uh he'll pop off and you can use him sometimes like three four times in a turn mainly because not much else in our deck really uses counter blast and we have so many ways to refund our 
counter blast as well, it's really easy to abuse this. You really only need to see one and you only ever really need to have one on board because more than one just kind of digs into your resources a bit too hard. So that's why we're not running him at full copies and this has been uh, working out really really well for me. On to grade ones now we have a play set of Riser Custom, our partner in crime to Brutal Jack. Both Brutal Jack and Riser Custom I feel like are just really important pieces for Nova's in premium. It abuses the ability of Brutal Jack to give us restands which gives us more drive checks on Bustard so we can kind of uh, almost bend the rules in a way with that so that's really nice. And then a play set of Blau Panzer this is very similar to Blau Kluger in that when we ride him, we can check top five instead of top seven and add any Blau we find there. So just more digging, more getting to our pieces. He also has the skill that when you call him to rear guard, you can discard a trigger unit from your hand and add any grade three Blau from your deck to your hand. Now, normally this is going to be fishing out uh, whichever Blau you don't have. So if you have Stern, you'll grab Galaxy and vice versa. But I, I do think there's probably some debate to be had here of running other grade three blouse to be able to kind of toolbox a little bit maybe you can make something like Volmond work I've just not really had a need for that uh, but I do think it could probably be pretty interesting if you if you find a way to make that work then we have two copies of Varuna Blau wand I'm really really liking this card I'm really glad I decided to add this card to the deck originally I was running the three extra grade three blouse but I took those out and ran two of this and another Regia Blau lands instead and I've just been it, it I've been so happy with that so far. This is a perfect guard, which is already, you know, great for the deck. Every deck needs to have perfect guards, but it has Blau in its card name. So we can find it off of things like our Blau Panzer or our Blau Kruger. And as if that wasn't already good enough, when he's placed, he can also give one of our Blau rear guards basically a dismal effect and they can't be hit and they have resist. So this is just great. Uh, and it gives us more targets for things like Blau Panzer and Blau Kluger and it's it's just really good. I like having a basically searchable PG in the deck. And lastly, a play set of Rima Blau Rakit. I wish we could have access to something like this in Victor. It's such an easy soul charge. When you call it, as long as you have the same or more cards in your damage zone than your opponent, you counter charge, soul charge. So that's already great. Just giving us more resources and more soul for Buster is always welcome. And then his GB1 is that when our Vanguard with Blau and its card name attack hits, we can put him into soul and draw a card. And again, just more resources, more soul, just lets us extend those combos even further. Now, looking at our triggers, this is a very similar lineup to the Victor deck. The only difference being the two draw PGs, but I talked about in that video about wanting to run more crits, and so running those grade one PGs kind of opens up the way for more crits, and I don't really miss the draws considering we draw a ton in this deck already, even before we get to Bustard, so that's really nice. Got the play set of the stride crits. Probably gonna swap the numbers around of the stride crits with the into soul and draw one crits, just for more soul, because running both Bustard and having that Regia Blau lands, you you'll burn through quite a bit of soul, and so I I think it'd probably be more beneficial to have things that give us soul in the middle of the battle phase. You don't really want to be discarding your grade three blouse to stride, but I found that with all the digging and drawing and searching you do, it's never really too much of an issue. And I usually have excess copies to be able to stride with that I think just losing one of these wouldn't hurt too badly. Still running the three copies of Energy Girl. Super happy with everything this card does. The free restand is fantastic. Could you run Kachi Wall? Sure, um, but we really don't have a way in this build right now to target and stand something. So we don't really have a way to target target and stand him. Energy Girl in this instance is better in literally every way. Maybe if we were running like Kick Kick, you could make an argument for that. But at that point, I really don't see it being that valuable. The only way in this current build to set off Kachi Walls by targeting with his own stand trigger, really, which that's just bad. And then heals. Nothing really to say there, we like healing. I think there's probably something to be said about maybe running a 2-2 split with Blau Energy. That could be something to look out for, especially since 
because they have Blau in the name, you can search them. So if you're like really wanting a G guard or to make sure you have it, if you see them off of like Blau Panzer, Blau Kruger, you can add that to hand. That ultimately just gives us more Blau targets. So that could probably be something you could try doing. And then Blau Younger as our starter, because it kind of has to be uh, for any of those uh, Blau Panzer combos to work. Now looking into our strides, this is another thing that's very similar to the Victor deck. The only difference being that we've made room for these Blau strides. I'm running the two copies of the Blazar Blau Kluger. Both of these effectively do the same thing. The Blazar is just limit break four and Sunny is limit break five. Blazar rewrites a Blau from your hand and Sunny lets you search the deck and then rewrite from your hand. So you search the deck for a grade three Blau, add it to your hand and then rewrite it. I honestly find that I go into Blazar more because I already have the cards that I need in hand. And sure, going into Sunny would deck thin you a bit more, but if you're like me and you have the worst luck ever, you will find yourself healing out of the limit break four and five almost every single time. And I am not exaggerating. It has been absolutely soul crushing trying to play test with these cards. I don't think I ever once properly got Sunny Blau Kluger off. I always healed on five in my drive checks. And I, I know you're like, oh, you're just, I'm not exaggerating. It literally happened every time. I've at least gotten Blazar Blau Kluger off because when your opponent's at five, and you're at four, you can't heal anymore. So there's that for you, at least. Although I have, I'm, I'm, I, again, I'm not exaggerating and I'm not kidding. I've had times where I've been at five damage and I'm like, okay, I'm at five damage, my opponent's at four damage. I'm like, okay, I'll go into Blazar Blau Kluger. I feel safe because even if I hit a trigger, I'll still be at limit break four. And I double healed. I. There, there is no feeling worse than having this huge explosive multiple re-ride and then getting because you're re-riding you're also getting circles and drawing cards just having that like that prospect laid out for you this huge explosive turn and then it all completely falls flat after your first attack because you healed of course we're running Bustard because Bustard is my favorite card and probably the best stride in all of Nova Grappler. Every time something stands, Soul Blast, flip up a G unit, get a drive check. At the end of his battle, if he had five or more drive, discard three cards, restand him, he gets drive minus five. I feel like it's easier to pull off insane Bustard turns in Blau than it is in Victor. And I think it's probably easier to get that rumored double restand where you get five drive checks on him more than once in a turn and you restand him twice it's it's definitely easier to do in blau and then we have winning champ which is very similar every time something stands soul blast one flip of g unit but instead of a drive check the unit that stood and himself gets plus 5k and at the end of his battle you draw a card choose one of your opponent's units with the lowest attack and retire it this is our usual go-to for dealing with problem units on our opponent's board things like Hanali. usually we have two copies of medio kaiser victor which is just to be our damage deny play if we have no damage or no face up damage damage. This is kind of our best option, especially if you want to get to GB1, but otherwise I feel like we're kind of just set doing our Blau shenanigans. Copy of Favorite Champ and a copy of Drigger. These both accomplish the same purpose, just being game ending strides, but I've literally never gone into them, at least with Blau. More often than not, either Bustard's enough or after we go into Bustard, either of the Blau strides is a better option than going into either Favorite Champ or Drigger. One copy of Asdabulk, same thing like I said in Victor, don't understand why people hate this card. It's pretty good in those fringe situations where you've just got nothing else to do. You can at least restand your front row and get some more multi-attack going. And then we have uh, Tribrute, which is our answer to Huam. If you're trying to play a damage nine game and your opponent's playing Huam, which this literally only happened in one game that I was playtesting. It was kind of nice to be able to be like, okay, I'll start into this. I'll go with Brutal Jack, rest a couple of things, restand him, then boom, pop the Huam, and you don't really have to worry about that anymore. Onto G Guards, and this is something that has not changed at all uh, between Victor and this deck. Copy of Gundreed, GB1, flip up a G Guardian when he's placed, and then for the rest of the turn, whenever your Vanguard's attack and is not hit, you counter charge. So you can go from, very effectively go from no face up damage to all face up damage and that's pretty handy or on the brighter side your opponent will just stop attacking you because they don't want to give you a bunch of resources back but i feel like this deck doesn't really care about it as much it's because we don't have 
too much CB usage outside of Blaulands. Unior is very much the same. When he's placed, if we have no face up cards in damage zone, we counter charge two, he gets plus 5k. If we have no cards in soul, we soul charge two, get 5k. Usually we can sometimes go into this after we do like a bustered turn and we've just expended all our resources. We can recoup some of that back and also get some shield at the same time. But more often than not, it's more likely we'll go into uh, Dogen Titan. Dogen Titan is probably our most often go-to stride, or at least it can be. It's a little harder for him to get his plus because his plus 10k shield is reliant on our opponent having more rear guards than us. And especially in Blau, we're able to get a ton of Excel markers. It can be kind of difficult to be under our opponent unless they've board wiped us. But we also kind of have ways to kind of clear our own board because both Blau Rakit and Blau Kluger go into soul. After Blau Kluger's attack and when Blau Rakit, when your Vanguard hits, Blau Rakit go into soul. So you can kind of cheat this out as well. And then Dismal, just to protect our galaxy. A lot of times people will probably try to swing into that because they don't want us to rewrite it on our turn. Um, and just saying, hey, you can't touch it is a uh, pretty good. Some other options you could run in the deck, other than what I've already mentioned, you could also probably run Beast Deity Frogmaster if you're like me and have just terrible luck and keep healing out of your limit breaks. That can kind of protect you there. I just don't know what I would want to replace with it because I everything else is already so useful in the deck so it's kind of hard to find room. I also think that you could probably maybe uh, make room for Origorum, maybe drop one of the Blazars and uh, run Origorum instead, and then you can have like free striding and also probably a really powerful beat down turn where your opponent's at zero power for at least one of the battles. So that could probably be something you do too. Anyways, that is the deck, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I, I hope you give it a try because this deck is just really, really fun and it's so consistent and it just, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just love Blouse. <laughs> it just, it, it does everything Nova Grappler wants to do. It's more attacks, it's more cards, it's more Excel circles. It just, it just does all the things and hits all the notes. After my last video, I mentioned how how I was like close to 100 subscribers and after I posted it like literally within an hour you guys got me over 100 um, so thank you so much for that that was really cool I really appreciate um, how much you guys uh, are enjoying the videos and uh, telling me how much you appreciate them so I uh, I really appreciate that you guys are uh, kind of the best <laughs> um, and in fact I'm already almost to 200 subscribers now so if uh, you want to help me get to that <laughs> like and subscribe and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, till next time.